Right, we're going to go to Lisbon now and have a quick chat with Mike, who's over there. He's opened up a podcasting studio, which I think he might be in and give, giving us a little tour of this morning. Let's give him a nice big round of applause. <laughs> Here he is. Morning, Mike. Morning. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, hola, bon dia, tudo bem? Bon dia. Yeah, I'm, I'm still up in India, the Portuguese. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> um, it's a great to meet you. Muito prazer. And um, bon fin semana to you. Thank you for kicking off the weekend for us with a little tour around your podcasting studio. Just to rewind a little bit, I mean, I, it came to my attention because you're in a brilliant group of expat dads. Um, based, I mean, it's for everyone in Portugal, isn't it? But a lot of you are focused in Lisbon. Tell us a little bit about the expat dads group, if you will. Yeah, I don't know a ton about it. I know that Shane is the, the head honcho of it. I just participate and they always are doing events. I love it because you got a group of guys with sort of similar values. A lot of them are entrepreneurial. They have their own businesses. So you get to be in this group of guys that everyone's kind of trying to do similar, somewhat similar things. And there's a similar energy. So it's always fun to go get beers with them. We've gone ax throwing a few times. What? Um, oh, it's, oh yeah. We go to the, there's an ax throwing place here in Lisbon. Um, there isn't. Yeah, there is, there is. <laughs> Actually, funny, it's called U.S. Axe Club, I think, which is funny because because um, most of us are from the U.S. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, like, I no, had no idea. What a lovely, what a lovely yeah, surprise. Yeah, wild. Yeah. So beers and axes. I just think that sounds so Scandinavian and dangerous to me. So Scandinavian, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you've chosen to live in Lisbon. You've been in Portugal long? Uh, we've been here almost a year. We got here in November last year um and we've loved it so far it's been a lot of fun oh great okay well yeah. it's so lovely to hear that and you launched a business uh, by the sound of it this is a podcasting studio that you've created what it's open to the public yeah so i originally i played around with the idea of my own studio and then also a place where other people can rent so what it now it's a hybrid so it is my studio that i I rent out a room. It's out of a co-working space here and a coffee shop. They have amazing coffee. So it's kind of a win-win because we'll be on a show, an in-person interview, and they'll bring us coffee while we're on the show. So it's it's pretty sweet. Um, oh, shout out to them. Which coffee shop? Where is this? Where, it's where, where, called where How Yeah, it's called How About Coffee. Um, if you look up How About Coffee in Google Apple Maps, it's near um, Alameda Metro Stop. That's like my only point of reference. But um, <laughs> But yeah, it's really good. I highly recommend. And they have a co-working space back here. So it's kind of like a great, if you're looking for a place to work, some great coffee and you want to start a podcast. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, people are so yeah. excited about their new lives in Portugal. I, yeah. I'm, I'm delighted. I mean, I, I've, I've got, to, I guess, what one of the oldest sort of uh, Portuguese uh, foreigner uh, podcasts about Portugal. Um, and I love it. You know, it, it, it's, it's such a lovely thing to be doing. And I'd recommend anyone who wants to chronicle their journey here and their delight about being in Portugal to start a podcast. And you're the man yeah. who can help them if, if they're in the Lisbon area. So yeah. how does it look? Can we have a little look at your studio? Yeah, for sure. Um, am I able to turn the camera around? Otherwise, I can just flip yeah, I my think phone. You can, you can choose your camera as well, but as, as, as you wish, whatever's easiest oh, for you. Oh, that didn't work. All right, I might just... Uh... Okay, I'm just going to... great. You sound great as you should, as, as you might okay, imagine. Okay, good. Because so we have... Yeah, we have... I mean, there's not a lot to show. It's a small studio, but I can kind of yeah. show you the space. There's... Uh, basically, we have a table. We have two uh, sh of the Shure SM, SM7B, I believe they're called, microphones on Rodecaster arms. We have the Rodecaster, or, uh, we have the Rodecaster Pro 2, which Me makes, makes yes. which makes Huge. it so easy, makes recording Huge. the audio super simple. We have um, two of these uh, Sony EZV10. I don't know. I'm not a tech guy. I had someone else recommend everything, but they're amazing. Okay. These cameras are so good. Um, we also have, so we have two of those for two different angles if you are, so if you're doing an interview show. And then we have a third um, kind of uh, third thing here that you can put your phone on, a tripod that you can put your phone on to get a wide angle if you want a wide shot for the podcast as well. And then it's, I, it's, I just, it's not just audio. It is a, it's fully audio visual. If you want to make a podcast, yeah. it's a video yeah, podcast the as thing. well. And I, have, I, I work with a lot of editors and stuff who do the editing and can do short clips and all that stuff as well. So... Um, you know, if you it's it's kind of like I can really help since I do my own podcast, I really can help someone 
do theirs from scratch and I, I have everything you need to, to do your own. And we have different light colors to make it feel more like your own branded vibe. And then we have these, uh, this sign here, which this sign uh, is bought through Displate, which is a website where they have thousands of different signs. So you can get a sign that like matches your vibe and just switch it out super easy. Um, okay. to kind of create, make it feel like your own studio. Very and I'm trying good. to get, yeah, so. A white, a white label, a white label podcasting studio. You've taken care of all the. the What's that? Have you got a hovercraft in there as well? No, I don't. Yeah, that wasn't me. I'm not sure. I heard it only from. My <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from. It might be your fan. I think you've got one of those techno fans in there as well. <laughs> a Dyson maybe, fan. Maybe, yeah, maybe. All right. Well, it, it, it's incredible what what you've created. Yeah. And we and can take all the hard work out of it, please. Yeah, people it, rock that up was the goal, man. Yeah, yeah, and I I wanted a place where people because I feel like in person podcasts are becoming more popular, and I'm yeah. I'm a guy that like I really enjoy the the sort of naturalness of the in person conversations, and so yes. I really wanted that, and I wanted a space people could create their own in person studio and interview people, and then we also do if you want to film an online course and you want it to look good and you don't have the space at your house, Ooh, or if you want there. to do a webinar. We also do those. So if you want like a one time, oh, I just need to film this webinar for this thing I'm doing, you know, we can help with that too. Superb, Mike. What's the best way to get yeah. in touch? Uh, if you go to my website, I just put it up. It's called um, LisbonPodcast.studio. So okay. I will Lisbon make sure Podcast. people can see that. So LisbonPodcast.studio. Uh, yep. It's a lovely idea. Any questions from you, uh, Tia Filomena? Um, no, I don't think, uh, <laughs> I don't think, um, I have any questions. When we record our Learn Portuguese podcast, we could pop down to Lisbon and drink coffee and drink beer with Mike. I think that's a possibility there, Philomena. That would be amazing. Yes. I'd love to, <laughs> I'd love to show that person. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Are you, um, are you learning Portuguese, Mike? Yeah, uh, slowly. It's difficult, but yes, we are learning. <laughs> yes. Difficult, but not impossible. Yeah, not stay, impossible. No. Nope. Stay tuned, Mike, and we and we're, we're going to do a little bit of Portuguese. We've been sightseeing mainly this morning, but we'll do a bit more Portuguese language and culture um, after we've said goodbye cool. to you, Mike. So, thank you so much um, for thanks. showing us what you're doing, and well done to you for coming over here, enjoying life here, and starting up a little business that will help other people as well. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. All right, Mike, take care, and we'll make sure people have got the details of the. Ciao, website. Mike. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. There he goes, Mike Blankenship.